How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. After knocking off number three, Arizona State in their Pac-12 opener at McHale Center, the Wildcats return home to duke it out with Oregon State last night. After a tough loss to Colorado on the road, Arizona players were certainly happy to be back at home at McHale Center, where coming into last night, they'd won 78 of their last 80 games. But don't tell that to Oregon State, who had no intimidation coming in. Right off the bat, Tress Tinkle will see Drew Eubanks out-hustle everyone for the dunk. Arizona would find itself trailing 9-2 within the first four minutes of the game. A bit later, Oregon State's Tress Tinkle for the Tress, or in Tress, or in three. Wildcats will trail 12-2 with just over 14 minutes to play in the first half, but Arizona tries to get back into it. Raleigh Alkins takes it in for the reverse layup. Then Dylan Smith for the Cats is playing cops and robbers. First the steal, then the chase, then the getaway. After that, Arizona's defense continues to step it up. Brandon Randolph pushes it up, and DeAndre Ayton will show his athleticism. The Beavers end up seeing their lead cut to four. Speaking of athleticism, Randolph leads the fast break again, and he will hook up with Ira Lee for the DUNK as the crowd goes OMG. Still get this, Arizona would be held at just 21 points in the first half. Arizona trails 22-21, but in the second, the Wildcats will heat up like the Sonoran Desert in July. Aiden will get the ball to Parker Jackson Cartwright coming up, and then how about Alonzo Trier? This, folks, is what you call posterizing a player. The Cats take their first lead of the game, 27-26. Then, one possession later, Raleigh Alkin says, Anything you can do, I can do better. Yes, folks, both of those dunks coming back to back, definitely worthy of consideration for top plays of the year for the Cats. Arizona bears down in the second half and cruises to the 62-53 victory. Afterwards, Alkins talks about overcoming Oregon State's zone. People were saying, like, you know, our Arizona's weakness was, was zone. So I thought uh, in the summer, that's all we really prepared for was just the zone. And right now we're getting back to it. We're starting to see the zone a lot more than we have been in the beginning of the year. So now we're just kind of getting in the, thing, in the mix of things, and we're just getting better every day. Phoenix area is the enemy territory, not only for Zona, but to, for the Ducks, who traveled to ASU, going up against the 8 in Maricopa County for the opposing team. But... Oregon would hang tough on the road, battling back from double digits. It'd be tied 58 until Elijah Brown cans that tray. Oregon goes up for good and makes his free throws down the stretch. The Ducks stun 11th ranked Arizona State. Final score 76-72. And what do you know? Next up for the Cats, Oregon tomorrow at 12 noon at McHale Center. See you then. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Collar from News 4 Tucson Sports. Happy Friday to you.